Good morning. I haven't done many videos. We have moved outside for part of the day so we can get them used to going out here. They will prefer to go potty outside. So I'd like to have them out here when I can keep a close eye on them. They are kind of little. They have um, vet appointments for their shots Thursday, and they'll do a complete workup. And they have eye exams on the 13th, so you need to look on your calendars, and three weeks from this coming Thursday, you need to have a veterinarian appointment set um, to do their second series of shots. They should have four series and rabies. What? Like I say, that one is going to a show home. This is the girl. We have one more to pick. We'll pick it on Friday, and then I can tell everybody on Friday which puppies I think are the best choice for your homes as far as disposition. I know there's some of you that are outdoorsy people, some of you that might be closer to my age that want a quieter puppy. Um, don't think we've got anybody doing heavy performance like agility. So when you get them home, don't let them do that. That's a huge no-no. But it, they're kind of like my grandchildren. I can spoil them. Uh, they got a bowl of food and a bowl of water over there. And they have a door that can go in and out, but they haven't total, totally gotten that concept yet. I think that's a girl over there. Those are both girls. Puppy, puppies, what are you doing? What are you doing? So I always add the word, put their name and go puppy, puppy, because I call them my puppy puppies. Right? <coughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Blue eye. Okay. Oop. Well, we are still a klutz. So for crates, get a 34 size crate with a divider in the middle because you don't want to give them a lot of room to start with. Um, And I buy Primo pads. So anybody that's going to be traveling a long distance, don't forget paper towels, a spray bottle of something um, in case one would get sick. Um, and a you know, trash bag. But we'll know if we have any of those that get sick. Remember when you put them in the car first couple times, I probably, <clears throat> unless you're traveling alone, I would start. Say hi. Hi, Kelly. Um, I would start in somebody's lap if you have two people and just kind of get them used to it and quiet and comfortable because there's a lot of changes for them that are coming really quick. So... 
then, you know, maybe borrow a little crate from somebody that you can have up close to you where they can see you and maybe you can put your hand in it. Um, I very rarely travel without a dog in a crate. I travel a lot with my dogs. If I would have a car accident, I don't want somebody, you know, opening the door to see how I am and my dog come jumping out at them just because it's scared to death. Hopefully with a crate, you know, they're contained. So, What? Good morning, little boy. Good morning, little boy. Where'd it go? Where'd you go? I know there are some seat belts made. Um, never used, eh, I can't say I've never. I think I used one once or twice. But at the time, they were like just coming out, and I think I was a little concerned that there wasn't enough to hold it, you know, if they're full grown and, you know, they're 40, 50 pounds coming at you. Yeah. But I imagine they've improved much since I got mine. I don't like harnesses to walk in. You need to use slip collars. And actually, I'm going to provide each of you with one. Slip collars are made. Hi, little girl. So, like, if you're going in the vet and they're like, yeah, I don't think I'm going today. I'm going to back right out of here. You're not standing there holding on to a dog and a collar. Oop. Slip leashes are your best friends. Right, guys? Right? Right? I think everybody knows by now that's a girl. Those two are boys. I don't want to. Off trying to start something. You're gonna hear some growling here in a minute. What? Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Hey. Hey. Beauregard. Hey. Boo boo. Boo boo. Boo boo. What? I haven't seen much of her. She's been playing over here. Does he have his front feet in the water? No, thank goodness. <laughs> yep, I knew they were gonna we were gonna hear some growling.
That's it, huh? Beep, 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 beep. Eee.